Hi everyone, I'm going to share a story all about a little girl called Jenny. She's usually a very happy little girl, but one day she starts to worry about little things. And then she worries more, and then she worries a little bit more. And then she starts to worry about her mum, and then she starts to worry about her dad. And then she starts to worry about her dog and her friends and all about the horrible things that's happening in the world just now. She worries if someone she loves gets sick. She worries about school. She worries about being in the playground and not having any friends. And soon all these little worries become big worries. And then the big worries became bigger worries and even bigger worries. And then they get so big that all these worries have to get carried around in a huge bag of worries. And it's only when one day she's sitting on the wall feeling so sad that one of her neighbours helps her to talk about what she's feeling. And she soon realises that once she starts talking about all her worries and all her feelings and all the things that are making her feel so sad, that some of them have disappeared. And she then realises it's good to talk to other people and talk about what she's feeling. So let's have a look at the book and then we're going to have a little chat and play some games. The Huge Bag of Worries Written by Virginia Ironside and illustrated by Frank Rogers. Jenny had always been a happy girl. She had a lovely mum and dad, a great brother, most of the time. She had a best friend at school and she liked her teacher. And then, of course, there was Loftus, her dog. But recently she had been getting gloomier and gloomier. It wasn't just one thing, it was everything. She worried about how she looked. She worried that Loftus would get fleas. She worried that her best friends would go and live in another country in the world. She worried that she thought people were talking about her behind her back. She worried when she heard her mum and dad having an argument. She worried about bombs and war. And she also worried about people or Loftus becoming sick. Until one day she woke up and found a huge bag of worries at the bottom of her bed. The bag followed her everywhere, to school, to swimming, to the toilet and it stuck by her even when she was watching TV. She tried ignoring it, but it didn't work. She tried throwing it away, but it always came back. She tried to lock it out, but when she got back to her bedroom, it was there waiting for her. It was like a horrible, scary shadow she couldn't get rid of. What could Jenny do? She asked her brother for help, but he was too busy with his computer game and all he said was, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have any worries. After that, she didn't feel like she could talk to anyone else. She knew she'd only feel silly. Mum would probably say, you've got no worries that I can see. You're a very lucky girl. You've got your health. You've got your family and you've got your friends. What more do you want? So she decided not to tell her mum either. Dad might know what to do, but then she thought again. Mm, Dad had enough worries of his own. She couldn't ask him either. Every day things got worse. The bag got bigger and bigger and bigger bigger. She couldn't sleep because it kept tossing and turning beside her all night long. To make matters worse, the bag dragged around her feet so much that when she was walking to school, she was late and her teacher was cross. Mm -hmm. Jenny couldn't tell her what had happened and anyway, she knew what she would say. You've got too many worries in future. Leave that bag at home. When Jenny told her best friend about the bag, she suggested that Jenny lock it up in the cupboard and try not to think about it. That's just what I'll do, Jenny said. Oh, 
but it didn't work. Even Loftus couldn't help. He tried his best and barked like mad, but the bag stood its ground. One morning, Jenny got up. She got dressed and walked down the road. She had had enough. The tears started rolling down her cheeks. So she sat down on a garden wall and put her head in her hands. Oh, she thought she would have to live with this huge bag of worries forever. Then she heard a voice and looked up. She saw it was the kind lady who lived next door. My goodness, said her neighbour, that is a huge bag of worries for a little girl like you. Through her tears, Jenny explained how it had followed her for weeks, how it had got bigger and bigger. But Jenny said she couldn't. If she opened the bag, the worries might jump out. And who knew what would happen then? Nonsense, said her neighbour. There's nothing to worry about and there's nothing that a worry hates more than being seen. If you have any worries, however small, the secret is to let them out slowly one by one and show them to someone else and they'll soon go away. So Jenny opened the bag. Her neighbour sorted the worries into groups. Jenny was amazed to see how small they looked when the bag was opened. Half the worries disappeared because lots of worries just hate the light of day. As for the rest, her neighbour popped some in her shopping basket to deal with them herself. Some weren't even worries for Jenny, some belonged to other people. So the, her neighbour sent them packing to the people they should belong to. Some worries just needed a kiss. And some were worries that belonged to everyone. And everyone has the same worries. Even everyone in Jenny's family, her friends and her teacher. And for the bag, well that took off too. And there was no big bag of worries left.